Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Um, haven't posted a video in a while. Um, last video that I posted was about uh, we just did the third cylinder, the cylinder that I really cared about. And as you see, it has not moved. It is at zero. So I have zero compression in cylinder three. Yeah. So I lost compression in cylinder three. So pretty much, um, I went ahead and I have a little surprise. And here we are, surprise. And the surprise is it looks exactly the same. Actually, no, I'm just joking. Um, this is a surprise. I went ahead and picked up uh, another N54. So I was gonna go ahead and swap this in. Um, it's pretty much clean. It has 80,000 miles on it. Um, checked it out. There's like no oil leaks, no nothing. Um, oil is good when it was drained. It has new um, coil packs, spark plugs. And the only thing I noticed was that it had like old um, index, I think it's like index three um, injectors on bank one. Bank three has like index eight, so I'm definitely swapping out the injectors. Um, has some coils, I think they're like CX Racing, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just leave those on for it to be rolled around or whatever. Um, the car looks pretty clean, body is good. Um, the interior is, let's see, yeah, a lot of stuff in here. What happened was, like the owner before, it was at a shop I got it from, so the owner before the other shop, he went ahead and just swapped out all the, um, all the interior, it like it was a black sports package, and then went ahead and um, swapped it out with the regular non-sports seats and everything. So it used to be black interior and all that stuff, so sucks. I really wanted it. <laughs> but the good thing is it has a good headliner and my headliner was starting to sag, so I'm taking that. <laughs> um let's see. Got most of the accessory off that I needed, like this um actually I don't need an alternator. I got a brand new one of mine. It's the AC compressor. I want because mine's was blowing like a little hot. And in Florida, you need the AC, man. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this car up and running. Actually, I'm, the only thing I have left now to do on it is to go ahead and um, drop the exhaust and then I have to go and find a cherry picker or engine hoist or whatever to go ahead and pull this motor out. So that's the last thing I need to get. And the only thing is I have nothing really to transport it in. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way how to get one here and get this project moving. 12 yard long, two lanes wide, 65 tons of American pride. Can you narrow? Can you narrow? All right, so this is the end of the video. It's a pretty quick video for today. Um, I'm gonna try to get a cherry picker, or sorry, engine hoist, and um, go ahead and get this engine out. And I'll pretty much document what I'm doing on when I'm starting to take apart my car, well, the original car. And yeah, show you like the steps and stuff like that, or exactly how I did the swap. Um, it's pretty straightforward, it seems, but still. Um, pretty much trying to get my way to know about it on the non-running, not the non-running car, but the new car that I'm gonna take its engine from and figure out like how everything works and how everything connects and then when I do it on my car, then I'm like, all right, cool. I know exactly what I'm doing. So pretty much this is just a test dummy right now and um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time.